Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the Gen AI Vision Aid app. And before we get started on the tutorial, let me show you what the app looks like and what it does. So the Gen AI Vision Aid app is a computational action app that is meant to help visually impaired individuals. So what this app does is that the user is allowed to take a picture and then that picture gets sent to a chatbot and the chatbot processes that image and describes back to the user what the image has or what is in it. So I'm going to do a demonstration of this app. So I'm going to take a picture and I have a $1 bill here. I'm going to use this photo and then ask the app to describe this image. And so the app is going to process the image. The image shows a $1 bill laid flat on a wooden surface. The bill is predominantly light green and beige in color. On the front, there is a portrait of George Washington on the left side, surrounded by the text the United States of America at the top and $1 at the bottom. The so that, you can see how it described the dollar bill and how it can be useful for visually impaired individuals if you have maybe a lot of different bills that have different amounts so that they can identify um, which one is which. So now I'm going to show you how we create this app. So to get started, we want to make sure that we're in the Create App section of MIT App Inventor, which should look like what I have on the screen here. And what we're going to do is we're going to click this New Project button. And the project we're going to name it is Gen AI Vision Aid. And then we're going to click OK. So it should look like this. And this is going to bring you to a different uh, page with the screen. And before we put any components on the screen, what we want to do is change some of the properties. So we want to make sure we click on screen one here. And what we're going to change is that we're going to align horizontal to the center. And we're going to change the background color of it to orange. And now your screen should look like this. So the first component that we want to put onto our screen is the take picture button. So from this user interface, we're going to drag in a button. And then we want to rename this button. So we'll click on button one, click on rename, and the new name is going to be camera button. Just like this and click OK. So now that we've renamed it, now we want to change some of its properties. So for the background color, we're going to make it green. Then we want the font size to be 30. And we're going to change the text of this button to take picture. And it should look like this. The next component we want to add to our screen is a horizontal arrangement where the image is going to be in. So under layout, we're going to drag in this horizontal arrangement. And then we just want to change some of its properties. So for the height of the arrangement, we're going to make it 50%. We're also going to make the width 80%. And the background color, we're going to make black. Let's save. So it should look like this. Now we want the picture that we take to be inside the horizontal arrangement. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag an image in there. So under user interface, I'm going to drag this image and make sure that it's inside the horizontal arrangement and drop it. So it should be up here. So we want to change some of the properties of the image so it fits inside the arrangement. So make sure it's selected. And then on the right side, we're going to have the height be fill parent. And we're also going to make the width fill parent. Click OK. So this is what our screen should look like now. The next thing we want to add is the describe image button. So drag in another button underneath of the horizontal arrangement. And then we're going to rename this button to describe image button. So we'll select all of this, describe image button. It should look just like this and click OK. So now that we've renamed the button, we also want to change some of its properties. So the background color of the button will be green. 
the font size we're going to make 30 again and then for the text it's going to be describe image just like this so this is what our screen should look like now so next we want to add in a text box so that once the chatbot has processed the image and it comes back with the reply, it'll paste it into the text box. So under user interface, we're just going to drag in this text box. And then we want to change some of the properties of the text box. So for the font size of the text box, we want it to be 30. The height is going to be fill parent. And then the width will also be fill parent. We also want to scroll down and make sure that multi-line is selected so that if we have a lot of text that it is broken up into multiple lines and doesn't fall off the screen. And then we also want to make it read only because we're not going to want to edit the text at all. And then so the last visible component that we will need is the clear button. So we're going to drag in this button and pop it in all the way down under the text box. Then we're going to want to rename this button. We're going to rename it to clear button, just like that. Click OK. And then we're going to change its properties. So the background color of this button should be red. We're also going to make the font size 30. And then the text is going to be clear all in all caps, just like this. And th this is all of the visible components that we will need. Now we're going to add some non-visible components that we need. Um, and the first one is going to be the camera. So under media, we're just going to drag in this camera. Make sure you hover over the screen and then it should just fall down here. So the camera is used so that we're able to take pictures. Next, we're going to need the text to speech, which is also under media. So let's drag that in and it should also fall down here. And then Next, we're going to add in the chatbot. So scroll down to experimental, grab this chatbot, and we add it in. We can click OK, and it should fall down here. And the last thing we will need is a notifier. So under user interface, we're going to drag in this notifier. And the notifier is just going to be used to tell us when the chatbot is processing the image so that the user knows that that's what's happening and the app isn't frozen or broken. Um, yeah, so these are all of the components that we will need for the app. And now we can move on to doing the blocks. To get started with the blocks, what we're going to do with first is the camera button. So what we want to do is on the left, go down to camera button and dragging this when camera button dot click block. So when the user clicks on the camera button, we want to call the camera to take a picture. So we're going to go into camera one and drag in this call camera one dot take picture. Just put it inside this block. And now once the camera has taken the picture, we want to put it in the image that we have. So we're going to go down to camera one and drag in this when camera one dot after picture. And then we're going to go to image one and we're going to drag in the set image one dot picture two. We're going to delete this no available assets block, then hover over this image and drag in this get image into this. So now it's set image one picture to the image that we have taken. And now what we want to do, this is depending if you are on Android or iOS, but if you're on Android, you're going to have to rotate the image because it takes it. It will put it in sideways. So we're going to click on image one and we're going to go down to set image one dot rotation angle two. And we're just going to go up to math all the way at the top, drag in the zero and then just change the zero to 90. So now that we've set the image, what we're going to do with next is the describe image button. So we're going to go down into describe image button and drag in this when describe image button dot click block. So when the user clicks this 
button first we want to notify them that we're sending the image to the chatbot so to do that we're going to go down to notifier one and drag in go all the way down to notifier one dot show progress dialog and drag that into this block then we're going to go all the way up to text and at the top we're going to drag in this empty text into message and the message that we want to display is going to be sending image for analysis just like that and then we're going to drag in another text into the title block and we're going to set this to please wait and now we're going to actually send the image to the chatbot so we're going to go down and drag in this chatbot one dot converse with image block right here drag into here and then the question we want to ask we're going to go all the way up to text and we're going to find in this join block drag in here and we're going to put in both these um, spaces in empty text so we're going to drag in this and then another one so in the first empty text we're going to put in describe the image in a brief way in detail for and then the second empty text we're going to put in a visually impaired person so this is just telling the chatbot that we want it to describe this image that we're sending it um, for someone who is visually impaired and then the source we want to set it to is the image that we've taken which we have set into image one so we're going to go on the left go down to image one and then drag in image one dot picture and that's what we need for this describe image button block and now we're going to want to deal with when the chat has actually processed that image and then given a response so we're going to go down to chatbot one and we're going to grab in this when chatbot one dot got response block and so what we want to do when the chatbot has the response is that we want to dismiss the notifier we want to set our text box and then we want to call the text to speech to speak the text so first let's deal with the notifier so we're going to click on notifier one and we're going to call notifier one dot dismiss progress dialog and then next we're going to set the text box so go to text box one and we're going to set text box one dot text drag in this box and we're going to set it to the response text so hover over response text and then just drag in this get response text block and then the last thing we want to do is call the text to speech so we're going to click on text to speech one and we're going to call text to speech one dot speak and then the message we want is the response text so we're also going to hover over and drag in this get response text block and that's all we need for when the chatbot has processed the image and given a response and the last thing we want to deal with is the clear button so we're going to go to clear button on the left and then we're going to drag in this when clear button dot click and we just want to clear everything we have so we want to clear the image we want to clear the text and then we want to stop the text to speech so first to clear the image we're going to click on image one and we're just going to set image one dot picture we're going to delete this no available assets and then on the left we want to go up to text all the way up drag in an empty text box so setting a picture to an empty text box it's just going to clear that picture so we no longer have it and then now we want to set the text box to an empty text so go to text box one and go down to set text box one dot text and then we're going to go back to text and drag in the empty text box so this is going to clear the text box and then the last thing we want to do is stop the text-to-speech so we're going to go down to text-to-speech 1 and 
dragging this call text to speech one dot stop. So these are all the blocks that we will need for our app. It should look like this. And now we can connect our app and test it out. So let's go back to designer. We're going to go up to connect, click on AI companion, and then you can grab your device with the App Inventor app and scan this QR code to test out your app. So I'm going to do that and show you how it works. So here I have the app pulled up on my screen and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture and here I have a mug and a pen. I'm going to take a picture of it, use the photo and then now I'm going to click on describe image. The image features a ceramic coffee mug and a pink pen on a wooden table. The mug, which is slightly tilted, displays a colorful design that prominently features the word Massachusetts in bold letters. Surrounding the text are various illustrations, including flowers and sports themes, rendered in vibrant colors like orange and blue. The inside of the mug is a bright blue. Next to the mug lies the pink pen, which has a transparent barrel showing a hint of the ink inside. It features a click mechanism at the top and a ridged grip for easy handling. The texture of the wooden table enhances the overall scene, while soft sunlight adds warm highlights to the surfaces, creating a cheerful atmosphere. So that was the image and the text, and I can click on clear all to clear it. And if I want to, I can just take pictures of other items. And here we can see how like a visually impaired person may find this useful as the image can be described with the colors of the objects and just like in detail different types of objects in the same image. So that is it for the app. Congratulations on building it. I hope you had so much fun. Now we can think about ways that we can maybe expand the app or make it better. So one idea is maybe adjusting the color palette of the app to support users that may have color blindness or low vision preferences. We can also add in an option for users to select their preferred language in text and speech output. Maybe they don't speak English. Um, we can also have the app speak out the instructions and notifications such as the notify that we have that someone might not be able to see. And we can also have the app allow users to control the speed of the text to speech um, in case they need kind of like a slower speed. So this is a powerful and useful app that you have created, but we want to make sure that users are using this in a safe and fair way. So we want to emphasize that this should be used for things like identifying um, different items or things that maybe visually impaired individuals might have a hard time with, but we don't want this to be used to put people in danger. So definitely don't use this for things like identifying when you can cross a sidewalk or any dangerous activity that can arise with this app. We wanna make sure that people are using this in a safe way. But that is all and I hope that you had a fun time watching this tutorial.